Hey folks, Johnny Walsh, Frontierless Craftsman here again. For a long time now I've wanted to build a cedar strip canoe. I haven't been able to get time or space ready for that this year, so I ended up buying myself an open canoe. And as a bit of a trade-off, I decided to make myself a paddle. Now, this is one of those projects where I walked out in a shed, had an idea in my head, so not knowing exactly what I was going to build, I decided to make it look nice. That way, if it didn't work as a paddle, at least I could hang it on the wall and it would be a nice ornament. So I had a route around in my wood store to see what I could find. I came up with some teak from old window frames, a piece of mahogany from a different set of windows, and another strip of mahogany left over from edging some tables I was making. Now the type of paddle I'm making, I've never actually held one before, so I'm not 100% sure on dimensions and sizes and bits and pieces. So I did a bit of research on the internet, I found some measurements to make up a template online, and the rest I just made up as I was going along. Once the glue up was complete, I flattened one side of it so I'd have an even surface to work from. Then I found the center line of my paddle, took my blade template and marked it out, then flipped it over and marked the other side. My template didn't quite fit onto the piece I had, so I just freehanded the curves at the top of the blade to make it fit the handle correctly. At the top of the handle I found a curve which I thought would feel good to my hand and then I marked the rest out by eye. For this I just made a shape that I knew would feel good in my hand. Now, for a project like this where you're going to have to have a symmetrical shape that you're cutting out of a solid block of wood, this is easier to do if you start off with something that's square and even so that you'd be able to place it either side of a center line. To make my center line, I took a small piece of 2x1 scrap, drilled a hole in the center for a pencil, and then two places for pins evenly spaced either side of that. I then used this to find the center point of the blank. I rotate this to, uh, to do it from each side so that if there is any variance, this will be marked out where I'll have the two lines and the gap in the middle will be the exact center.
As I'm working with less than perfect material, I take a bit of epoxy and fill in any voids that are in the wood, any cracks, any knots, anything like that where some water might ingress into it and cause me a problem later on. Before the epoxy is fully set, I come back with a knife and just trim it off. This will save a little bit of sanding later on. After I work my way up the grids, I finally wet the piece to raise the grain. And to save me having to wait around for it to dry, I just heat it up with a hot air gun, sand it again, and then go through the process another couple of times just to make sure this is extra smooth. there you have it the finished piece going to get this into the water sometime soon and i'll let you know how i get on with it if you've enjoyed this hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well it really helps me out if you hit those come and join us for some more projects lots of really interesting things in the pipeline at the minute Stay tuned, you'll find out what those are over the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching, folks. See you in the next one.